unwanted rivet holes always something you're going to come across as an armourer you've moved a strap, you've changed something about, you've put something in the wrong place and suddenly your work has got a hole in it. I'm going to take a quick look at some ways of getting rid uh, of these unwanted holes. Option one is just to leave the hole. It's no bigger than a breathe that you'd find on the side of a visor and there's plenty of examples of the odd hole, errant hole on a bit of work or armour uh, all through history. So that's the simplest thing, don't get carried away and just leave it there. Option two is to close the hole down uh, by hammering around the outside and slowly shrinking down the size of the hole. So you start off by working around the outside of the hole, drawing some of that material in. You can see we've already shrunk it down by about a millimetre. Uh, it does have the uh, added distraction though of thinning the material around the hole. But we'll carry on and see where we end up. I've used this technique a few times if I've not been paying attention and I've put in say a 4mm hole uh, when I needed a 3mm by accident you can just shrink it back down but again not on somewhere important because this does thin the material but you can see now we're down to about half the size of the previous hole down to a small pinprick now and just close that off job done the hole's gone and you just tidy that up uh, dress it back and planish it back but this does have the problem of thinning the material considerably this is a 1.6 mil piece of material and it's probably down to about 0.6 of a millimeter in that area so this isn't something you want to do on a vital area uh, just something aesthetic cosmetic that isn't going to take any damage and you can dress that back with a flatter hammer from the back and just touch it down and the job's done on to option three on to option three very straightforward one this just simply drop in a blind rivet all that means is the rivet isn't doing anything other than cover the hole you don't need to countersink the rivet hole you don't need to do anything clever just literally drop in a rivet there nice and straightforward job done first thing to do is take a, a sharp drill piece about twice the size of the hole that already exists and countersink both sides of the hole. All you're going to do here is put that in and twist it round. Now you can do this in the drill. It saves a lot of time but I thought for noise I'll just do it now and also demonstrate that you don't necessarily need the drill if it's a way not to hand where you don't own one. There we go, so we've successfully countersunk on both sides just to make sure that it's good and secure. Next thing to do is take your rivet, there you have, and I tend to place them in backwards, this doesn't really have to be done this way. Make that hole a bit bigger. You sometimes get some of the burr from the countersink going into the hole. But I tend to put the rivet in the back space like that and then trim the rivet leaving a good amount of a mill or two on the top like so and then all we're going to do is we're going to smash that down in and onto the material being careful not to damage the material go gently and you just want to create a dome over the top that you can clean here we are back from riveting all I've done is just peen that over, you can see it's not been very hard, just make sure that the uh, peen, the material here, covers the uh, countersink that you did fully. 
And then what you do is you take that off with a grinder and then polish it back. There's all sorts of tools you can use, but just for speed here I'm going to use a uh, grinder with a 1mm slitting disc just to lift the worst of the material off. You see now we're just starting to get to the point where we're touching the material. What I want to do is gently keep lifting and get the whole surface on the same level. It looks like we've been fairly aggressive, but the truth is they're just light touches. Undoubtedly it thins the material, it can't not, but we just take that off now, we polish it up and we'll see where we're at. Here we are back from polishing, I've just taken that back to a basic 120. Um, don't have to be that aggressive, it just takes time um, and a bit of care and you can see the hole's completely gone. Just show you the reverse, so you can be sure it's the same piece of material, but it's a nice way of tidying things up and keeping some strength in there. Um, if, if you need it. Obviously other options are things like welding and putting on new plates and all that sort of business but these are just three quick and easy solutions uh, should you find you need them just to fill a rivet hole.